Good morning, everyone. I'm going to real quickly show you how to use GIMP and Schoology to, to finish your logo project. All right, so I'm in GIMP right now. I'm going to use my Lasso Select tool because I want to be able to, to make this logo a little bit larger. So I'm just going to cut this out just to kind of get the M out of here. And I can't really cut this out in a circle with the background as it is, with the beveled background. So I should be able to do this. Select it, uh, copy it, and do a new one. And let's make this really large. I'm going to make this 1600 by, I don't know, 1200. Okay, paste it in. And now I have an opportunity to work around this and make it a little bit larger, right? So the next thing I need to do is get my background the same color. So I'm going to select all this junk. Actually, let me go to my layers. And I need to anchor this layer down. Sorry. Layer. I'm going to anchor that layer. And now it's all with the background. So now I can select all this white stuff. With my magic wand tool. And I can fill it with this color. I can use this color picker and I can fill it with the same color. Say OK. I'll get my paint bucket. And I'll fill all of it. And I'll select none. So now I've got this. Not looking great, so we can mess with that a little bit. But the next thing you'll do is get your circle select tool and highlight over your logo. And we'll make that perfect circle. And I can select the inverse of it, which is all this other stuff. And I can cut it or delete it. Now I have just my circle. I can save this as my logo. I'm just going to put it on the desktop for now. And then I can go into Schoology. And when you're in your course, when you go to courses, this is uh, the Art B, Art 8A, 8B, period 5. So here's our course. And if I look in the materials section, I'm going to see that there should be a bunch of ad albums. All right, and for right now, I'm just going to pick some. I'm going to add my own album. And you guys won't need to do that. You'll be able to select your own album. And I'll attach a file. Desktop. Logo. There's my logo. Not that one. Not that one. Notice this is the problem. I made it at XCF, which is a GIMP file. So let me go back in here. Save as logo. Uh, JPEG should prompt me again for yes let me move that scaling all the way up and let me go back to Schoology and attach this file again let me refresh this and I should have there's my logo uploaded, add media. Now I have my own folder and my logo and I can put as many different logos in here as I need to. Uh, just keep adding them to your album. Uh, let me know if you have any problems.